Hey guys, Levelcap here, and today in gaming, Microsoft admit their new consoles have some problems. CSGO match fixing is apparently worse than ever before. Microsoft Flight Sim's new roadmap is very promising and much more. Since the next-gen consoles launched, performance differences between the two have been mostly anomalies. Unfortunately for Microsoft, those anomalies typically manifest on the Xbox Series X and S. Tech outlets like Digital Foundry have found performance issues in multiple games that run like butter on the PS5. These games include Devil May Cry 5, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and Dirt 5. In all three, the PlayStation 5 either outperforms the Xbox Series consoles or has fewer performance issues in general. That said, it's not a universal difference. Digital Foundry's analysis of Black Ops Cold War shows the PlayStation 5 struggles to maintain a locked FPS in some scenes where the Xbox Series X delivers solid performance. However, the one thing that is universal across all consoles is that these issues seem more like growing pains than hardware deficiencies. Microsoft have acknowledged the performance issues on their next-gen hardware and are working with developers to fix them. Every console launch does come with its fair share of bugs, and it presents developers with a new learning curve. Performance issues aside, the PlayStation 5 has plenty of bugs. In the past two weeks, Sony has had to issue two major patches and address a download queue bug that would basically brick the console and another bug that uninstalled games at random. In a few months, it's likely both consoles will be neck and neck in every game and will present few, if any, significant software bugs. Considering what developers like Naughty Dog, Bluepoint Games, Asobo, and The Coalition managed to pull off with the last-gen consoles, this next-gen console generation is going to push graphics and performance to a whole new dimension. All of these minor issues today will be a thing of the past, hopefully very soon. It will be quite interesting to see what bottlenecks developers discover as games get more demanding. Ray tracing is sure to be a technology that sees a ton of optimization thanks to the next-gen consoles. It wouldn't shock me if both Sony and Microsoft launched enhanced or pro variants of their consoles that offer improved ray tracing support in a few years. The performance ceiling for console gaming has never been higher, regardless of whatever issues PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series consoles seem to have right now, and it'll probably be quite some time before developers are once again demanding for a much higher performance threshold. The most recent patch for Assassin's Creed Valhalla was meant to fix some performance issues across both next-gen consoles, but it's introduced some new ones instead. The patch offers two new modes, performance and visual fidelity. These adjust the game's graphic settings to achieve either higher FPS or more eye candy. While both modes seem to work as intended on the Xbox consoles, screen tearing supposedly got worse. Things are more problematic on PlayStation 5 with some scenes dipping below 40 FPS in performance mode. Hopefully Ubisoft can kick out a fresh patch soon to address these problems. Esports, match fixing, and related crimes have been in the headlines this year thanks to some high profile arrests and accusations. The ESIC recently banned several CSGO players for match fixing. One player, an Australian known as JHD, was banned for betting on his own matches. Despite his team not even being a serious contender in any major competitions, JHD says they were approached multiple times to throw matches. Some of the offers were as high as $2,000. Match fixing scandals rocked the upper tier of CSGO's competitive scene a few years ago, with multiple players from iBuyPower's pro CSGO team being banned from all future Valve tournaments for life. Since then, the skin gambling scene surrounding CSGO and other controversies started to implode, the fallout of which has been intense scrutiny and even legal action in multiple countries forcing gambling regulations on Valve, EA, and other major gaming publishers. A new scandal shook the CSGO community recently thanks to the discovery of a bug that let coaches freely spectate entire matches dating back to over two years. The coach bug has compromised the integrity of literally every CSGO competition as far back as 2018. If 2-bit CSGO players are getting offered thousands of dollars to fix their matches, there's no telling how much worse the problems get when combined with things like the coach bug and the game's gambling scene. Microsoft Flight Sim just got its second world update and the developers are already laying out plans for the third one. World Update 3 will focus on Great Britain. It launches in January and will improve the textures and geometry of many English landmarks. The game's roadmap has also been updated with content into February of next year. It looks like the devs are on track to deliver one major update per month. 
Beyond that, Asobo have compiled a wish list of items voted on by players. Promising features include multi-monitor support, a DirectX 12 upgrade, helicopters, gliders, and many major bug fixes. Most of these items are a year or so away from seeing the light of day, and there's even more planned for 2022. Microsoft Flight Sim is already a groundbreaking game, so it's crazy to think what it'll be like in a few years once all of these updates are released. MechWarrior 5 launched last year as an Epic Game Store exclusive title. The devs had planned to launch on Steam and other PC platforms next month, but they have pushed the date back. They moved it to spring 2021 to give the game breathing room from the upcoming release of Cyberpunk 2077. Many news outlets are predicting Cyberpunk will overshadow most holiday game launches. Its multiple delays have likely been a boon for some games that have launched over the last few months. The hype surrounding Cyberpunk is looming like a dark cloud over every other developer's head right now. Launching a game on Steam after being an Epic exclusive generally seems to result in pretty big sales. And considering MechWarrior 5 was going to debut on Steam the same day Cyberpunk launched, the delay seems like a very smart move. The dark cloud of hype for Cyberpunk 2077 might not end on launch day. CD Projekt Red have announced that they'll be keeping their DLC plans under wraps until after the game launches. If it lives up to the hype, that could mean Cyberpunk updates will dominate the game's news cycle well into 2021. We know the game is getting at least two major expansions and a multiplayer update once those are released. The update could even be a standalone game. Retro FPS classic Kingpin was due for a remaster this year by 3D Realms. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to track down the game's source code and will instead be recreating the game's engine themselves. This resulted in a delay to 2021. They expect to have the engine up and running in January, so it shouldn't be too long of a wait. For those of you who haven't heard of Kingpin before, it launched back in 1999 and was one of many innovative titles that launched that year, like Half-Life, System Shock 2, Unreal Tournament, Silent Hill, and Counter-Strike just to name a few. Unlike those titles though, reviewers overlook Kingpin due to his profanity and violence-laden presentation. However, even by 1999 standards, it was a pretty tame game. In hindsight, its AI and level design are some of the best from its era. Unfortunately, it does have some real problems. Balance leaves a lot to be desired, especially if you turn the difficulty up above easy. Thankfully though, there are some community patches available that fix most of its problems and it will get it running on modern PCs. The remaster by 3D Realms will be a complete overhaul that preserves the original game as an optional experience. And that wraps it up for today in gaming. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what story you thought was the most interesting in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this in the future, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Level Cap signing off.